Welcome back to Mamazing Gaming. I'm Mamazing and I'm in BSIM for what is not just one update but many updates over the next few days, over the next week. It's a crazy Beaverse week. It's not just one single update. It's an insane amount of different things that reveal themselves as we go through these worlds. There's a whole lore, there's new crafting mechanics, there's all sorts and it can get quite overwhelming but as we go through this I'm going to take you through everything so it's a lot easier for you. Also I want to reassure players who haven't even got to this area to the Sakura on the other side of this gate. Don't worry too much. It's okay. You just need to go look through the server list, find a nice full servers and start grinding and the best tip I can give you if you're struggling to get this far is make sure that you're always upgrading your strength and you're always taking on as many quests as you can even if you don't have auto refresh quests just do all of the quests from all of the different NPCs in the zone that you currently can make sure you do all of the codes make sure you collect all the chests and play with other players and in no time at all you'll be able to get here as well uh, even becoming a phantom bee which is an 11 times multiplier but doing that and starting from scratch it didn't take as long as I I thought to get back to this point I just made sure that I was always in the shop upgrading my strength so that I had enough oomph you know to take out these flowers okay so if you do enjoy this video throw a like on it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell of course you have to do that because we're gonna take you through some of the game mechanics to this point and we're gonna unlock a new area here we go all right so here we are in bloom this is the equivalent to the Sakura world on the other side of the Beaverse gate in the normal universe. In the Beaverse, however, it's a little bit different. We have things that remind us that we're in Sakura and things that remind us that we are collecting bee skins very similar to the meadows which is the very first world that you start the game in. Anyway the reason why that is is because all of the bees mimic the very first zones that you play in the original reality and they all have a plus symbol on them and those plus symbols make them a lot stronger than even the ancients in Sakura before you come through this gate. So it's like you're starting from fresh and with all those plus symbols you can upgrade plus bees these plus bees right here you can upgrade them reset your skin level for the next tier so all of these bees might look like they're common rare epic but they're common plus rare plus and epic plus so they're already better than what you had before and your ability to upgrade them is much better as well it's right here also in bloom do not forget you have the black market here is where you can collect plasma you need that plasma it's really vital really important because in the next area you have something called blueprints and they cost plasma and at first when this world opened up nobody knew what plasma was for but now we know it allows you to craft new items that you can actually combine with other items to get powerful upgrades in the game. So that is what plasma is. You're going to need 77,000 plasma in total. It might seem like a lot but there are two things that you can do all the time to make sure that you're getting as much out of this as possible and I'm going to show you a trick as well at the right hour of every day there is a little trick that you can do to get the most out of your plasma gathering. Uh, and I haven't even quite got enough for what I want but I also have some pretty amazing crafting recipes which you will see shortly as well and we're also going to talk about loadouts why loadouts are super important and how you can make the most of those loadouts and maybe also what you need to craft them okay so let's also now go to the next world right through here Ta da we're in the cavern the cavern mimics the crystal world in the main world so if you can imagine it would go Crystal Sakura but we're working in reverse so it's Bloom Cavern and it has a lot of details that remind you that it's the Crystal World at the same time it's got details that also mimic the mountains in the original world there's just a few things that make you feel like you're in the mountains too so also the bees here these bees are like the mountain world bees and they all have the plus symbols so they're all better than that but they stop at epic so that's as far as they go here the next world of course is going to have the legendary bee added which we haven't opened yet but we're going to take a look at that and in this world here we have this here which is your 3d printer in it you can print your blueprints you can get the blueprints which you get right here from this little dude this guy right here is the guy that unlocks your gemstone box which is something you get from the mole 
in Atlantis on the 30th minute of every hour to the 40th minute. So between 30 and 40 minutes of every hour, you can go to Atlantis and you can get a gemstone box and you can bring it through to the beavers and into the cavern here and then chat with the locksmith and the locksmith will give you a blueprint if you've already received a blueprint then you will get plasma 200 plasma as a reward for the duplicate and there are nine blueprints in total once you've got them all already you can't get any more so instead you'll get 200 plasma and that plasma is super insanely powerful so right now to print these the blue ribbon is 10,000 plasma the seeds which we'll talk about in a minute they're all one color so you know that the seeds are all coded one color we've got two items here the particle accelerator and the blue ribbon that are blue then we've got two orange items so we've got the glowing fungus and the seashell and then we've got two red items the stardust and the teddy and they're a lot higher value but the values have been uh, nerfed a little bit so they're not as expensive as they were which means they're kind of buffed for you like they cost less so it's it's good this one here is what you really want to go for the stardust you really absolutely need it you also will need the particle accelerator that one's quite a cheap one it's only 1000 so in total the two most important ones are the stardust and the particle accelerator and i'll explain that to you soon when i've actually crafted what i want to craft with it okay so that is the printer that is what your plasma from the previous world is for and this is how you get your blueprints this little locksmith right here so that is that of course there's a hat stand in every world and in this current world it's a 12 star hat in the first of the beavers it's 11 star and then we have this area which is locked now all the worlds are locked on a timer and they will kind of open up as you go through so they i don't know if they're a 24 hour timer up to 40 hour timers but the current one i am so far behind i want to reassure you don't worry it's i mean i haven't even unlocked this yet and the next zone is probably about to unlock it doesn't matter if you're behind it really Really, really doesn't you'll get there eventually and what's important is that you understand how the game works going through the beavers more than anything else it's a lot of fun there's some cool items to craft and they do some pretty amazing things so don't worry if you can't get here yet you will get hit here eventually you will eventually become a phantom bee and you're still going to enjoy the gameplay it's it's gonna be great don't worry i'm just just letting you know it's gonna be okay all right so let's open this now oh this is my first time going into here so this is ethereal this mimics fairy tale look we've got these dudes right here hello i kind of want to talk to, and i kind of don't because there's already so much going on the first thing i want to do is see how close the next one is to opening all right so it's seven hours and 36 minutes and because the first world was six quintillion the next one was 40 quintillion this one is going to be a ridiculous quintillion but yeah we've got these npcs we can talk to we've got a giant flower right here and then we've got a new thing over here let's take a look at it so grow your seeds plant equipped seeds so i can put a seed here i need to open my inventory first i need to go into an a slot that I'm not currently using. Let me get a seed that I have crafted the blueprint for. It's called the Lonely Seed. Looks a bit like an almond seed. So let's equip that and let's go in here and plant equipped seeds. And it's giving me a five minute timer and I'm gonna grow it. So it's incubating, it's my little baby's incubating. Here we go, we're gonna let it do its thing. Every one of these NPCs is like it's aged quite a lot in here. And if you talk to the NPCs, and if you have the right items equipped when you talk to them, sometimes strange things happen. Sometimes the lore lets you know what's going on. It's weird like that. Timo Senior, things are super tough these days. I need four status. Okay, so that was that one. Hello. Hamish Senior, I desperately need five crocus. I'm too afraid of doing it myself these days. They're afraid of something. There is some sort of enemy and they're afraid of gathering flowers. Why are they afraid of gathering flowers? You have to ask. Yes there is something coming something terrible oof four quintillion honey for this quest if you have the quest loadout equipped so the way it, it works is that you'd use a loadout for gathering on the flowers so you'd want some crit damage or chance and then you would have one for quests quest rewards when you go talk to the npcs 
and then you would have a loadout for selling wherever the best place to sell is for you. There is an item better than the golden apple that will multiply your sell better but that is with the new crafting which I haven't crafted yet because I need to save up my plasma for a very important item which I'm going to show you in exactly one minute ironically I'm going to show you right now the best tips and tricks on how to gather plasma we are now at the 30th minute of every hour this is how you do it so first thing you do is you reset fast and then you go straight into Atlantis then you dip down to your left and chat the mole and buy the gemstone box and immediately reset then you look around for the pink portal into Sakura hit enter then you go round to your left and straight through the gate and then you look over and go around to the right and just cross through this yellow beam and then come back in here and sell it and you'll get 200 plasma follow the yellow beam again to get out so you don't hit any obstacles go through the gate again press escape immediately and reset and then look for the Atlantis gate and repeat and then go down to your left so it's always left done reset and then turn the only time you turn right obviously is when you're going into Sakura but every other time it's a left you're always kind of heading left except right here <laughs> maybe uh yeah look for the yellow beam straight through it and then down to the locksmith uh you could also do a reset there but because the world is so quick to get to you shouldn't need to at that point it's just here this is where you reset like you do it as soon as you're teleporting find the blue portal go in and then down to the left here we go done reset immediately as you're collecting the item and then Sakura and then around to the left that's it that's all you have to do and that is how you farm that 200 plasma fast after you've filled up on all of the nine blueprints that you need just like that it requires a hundred quadrillion to do this each time make sure you have enough money to do this Let's go in here. 16.24 plasma. Yes, finally. Okay, I have enough plasma. All right, let's go back in here. We're going to go to the 3D printer now, and I am going to print the right item. If I print the wrong item, I'm in trouble. So particle accelerator. I now have a condensed wormhole. Okay, so I combine that with essence of time. Take that out. Condensed wormhole. Equip. <gasps> oh my gosh it takes me straight to meadows where i can sell so i left my condensed wormhole in my inventory but all of a sudden my condensed wormhole turned into singularity okay so you know how my last object turned into a singularity like at first it transported me to meadows instantly which was really really good but then it turned into singularity well if you go over here to this nice fellow here he's gonna have a bit of a dialogue for you here we go bastion says is that a singularity it's been so long since i've seen one of those perhaps i could turn it into something more useful for you so now i have a new item let's take a look at it it is the interdimensional material what about purifying let's sneak over here yes purifying it did it Okay, so now we have an interdimensional mirror. Deflects anomaly power. Oh my gosh, Stardust print. Oh, finally, I have Stardust. Oh my gosh, such a relief. The fabric of everything, Stardust. And now I just need the recipe to craft that into the item I need. Crazy. So in order to craft this, I'm going to need to use Stardust and combine it with the Essence of Nothing. Luckily I crafted every single Essence in the game. Essences of Nothing. There we go. Now I have Anomaly. Alright, so now I need to take 
anomaly and I need to equip it with the mirror so the interdimensional mirror which I already have and I think you have to do it in the right order if you don't do it in the right order then you're in trouble you need to put the mirror on first and then equip anomaly and then go through the gate so first thing I'm gonna do is go through the gate from the other side I just feel like if you do this the wrong way you're gonna lose your items and you don't want to do that so you start over here and then you want to equip the interdimensional mirror there we go and then the anomaly oh my gosh what have I done why I'm so slow what is this oh my gosh whoa wait is there anything else here these flowers they're not doing anything I have a new item. Wow, I did not expect a cutscene. I did not expect that. I now have one of the most powerful items in the game, the Fragment of Reality. Critical hits spread to other flowers. So now I could create my ultimate layout right now, like my ultimate layout. So if I click on this one right here and I've got critical damage and I get rid of this and I put the fragment of reality there we go I have it equipped and we're going to show this in use now here's a thing here's another tip which I I'm assuming should work what you'll want to do to make the most of this is to find a patch of flowers that are multi like there is many different ones of them so you've got gladiolis for instance mimosas and cyclamens so you want to find a patch that has a mix of them and then you'll want to go and start every quest of all of those when you're actually farming this so let's go into this area here this is the cavern and then we'll go over here to the ethereal i'm just going to use this as an example i want to take a look mostly everything is bunched together i want to find a patch that has multiple different ones i think this one is the best we've got a status we've got some crocus and we've got some alstromerias uh, so yeah this might be a good patch that, and I, I basically want to get all of the quests so let's go and accept them all here we go and there's one in the middle Oh, and I haven't even gone to the hat shop yet. Oh, and my seed might be ready. Let's take a look. Oh, what? 500 cutie honey. Is that my reward for that seed? Well, what if I put on my quest rewards, which is my third lo loadout slot? Still 500 cutie. So my seed is gone and instead I get like a reward of honey which wasn't a great amount I'm I'm surprised but okay that's fine all right let's go to the hat shop and take a look we've got a flashlight a purple trash bag and a blue sparkler and a royal fire plushie oh I have the royal fire plushie let's put it on so a quest reward cooldown and a 3.6 quest rewards multiplier let's take a look at it oh my gosh it's a that's awesome look it's it's like holding on to my antennas like like it's riding on the back of my bee it's super cute it's adorable I love it okay that is like the coolest thing right now that I have ever I love it it is so awesome get your seeds here so you can play pay sorry more plasma the seeds so we've got a seed of fortune a small plasma seed and we've got medium honey seed and I know I have seven hours to gather so much of the resources that I need. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Let me get all of these quests going. So basically I've got to wait to see if it will actually take the crit damage into the flowers around me. That'll help me take all of these out. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. Look. Oh my gosh. Let's see. The Alstromerias. The Crocus. 
they all took a hit. They all took a hit and I got an amazing boost right down here in the trillions. And you heard the sound, it was very different. Seriously, the fragment of reality is the probably the most useful powerful item in the game right now and crafting it is not easy it's expensive but it's worth it like i said you need to get the stardust with 16k plasma you also need the particle accelerator with 1k plasma 17k start on that item seriously worth it worth it worth it and remember i currently only have my base multiplier critical chance one percent because in my loadout this here critical hit spread to other flowers doesn't have a crit multiplier or a damage multiplier on it it's really just how it gathers the ice pack and the pendant of fraud at the moment give me the most critical damage i can get until i do something else i don't know crafting wise who knows so i'm getting 20 times critical damage that's the most i can get while using the fragment of reality but then i will be able to cash in these rewards using my quest reward loadout which is going to give me so much more and that is how i'm going to be able to afford the next zone having this item is critical literally pun intended oof i really hope i get there we go i got it i got the critical hit i needed that fragment of reality is such an overpowered and awesome item mechanic it is super super cool and there's going to be so much more in the next episode for you to see with this beavis which is ever evolving and changing i hope you do enjoy me for the next episode i hope you did enjoy this if you did throw a like on it also if you're not already please subscribe and hit the bell and we will catch you again next time for amazing gaming thanks for watching goodbye